to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Your two favorite boys who are hanging out this week. <laughs> Kanye West and uh, Nick Fuentes. Who the hell is Nick Fuentes? Ugh. Daisy Fuentes' husband? Probably. Nick, I was thinking if Nick Cannon and Daisy Fuentes had a child, it'd be uh, Nick Fuentes. He probably Fuentes. has one with her. <laughs> You're not even wrong. That's funny. Uh, that's funny, Joe. Like, honestly, that's funny. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. Yeah, callback. Like, honestly, that's no. It's not a callback. Nick call Cannon back to has his a life? Nick Cannon has a, a kid with my mom. <laughs> I've. I have Are a brother. Nick Cannon's child? <laughs> I'm Nick Cannon's. Yo, I didn't know you were secretly 50% black all I, this time. I mean. And Nick Cannon's like black, black. <laughs> What's that even mean? He's like Muslim blackish. He like he turban, turban black. Uh, wait. But I thought that was. Wait. No, that's deep black. That's uh, like I go to the motherland black. Okay. I'm not even that black. <laughs> Jesus. Like, no. honestly, I'm dark. But skinned, but like as far as my blackness meter, do I'm like hitting like a three or four. Oh, is there like so you gotta take the skin and then the the inside? There's a meter. There's definitely a like, meter. Like what if like the skin is dark and the inside is not where do they fall on the meter or then, vice versa? What if you're light skinned but really? I think you get the the mean, the median, and the mode, and then you uh, take the average of those three numbers, and that's where you. That's where okay. You All right. The mean, median, and mode. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So Putin and Kim were hanging out. Uh, okay. I know you love them. Right, right in front of my Juneteenth. We're going to talk about Putin and Kim Jong Il. Okay, that's cool. No, it's, let's go back to the mean mode median. No, no, let's keep talking about Kim. No, let's go to the Kim Jong Un because that was funny, Jonas. We got images of Kim of uh, Putin going to North Korea. Yeah. Here's For a, what though? Here's the scary part. The scary part. They said that part of their meeting was. Pledging allegiance to each other for military conflicts. Yes. That was the part. They're both just wild cards. Yeah. I it's mean, like Charlie from It's Always Sunny. You they, just you never know. They uh they both definitely have uh UFOs. Uh it's it's crazy. Do they? Oh is yeah. that is that why we want them? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Not because of their war crimes and like humanitarian crimes? Yeah, yeah. Um I mean Look, Jonas, I'm just, you know, speaking from my conspiracy theorist mind. So, yeah, you know, yeah, let's go. Bring you, can it down. Do your, you can do your own research with that one. But it is kind of scary to think it's that us currently being in a proxy war with Russia over the whole Ukraine thing. Right. And when I say a proxy war, I'm just for the people at NATO home. versus Russia. Uh, n- Not even to that extent, but more along the lines of we are funding a war but we are using none of our own troops. Right. Well, I mean, NATO is basically funding a war because we're not the yeah. only ones funding. Yeah. I mean, and that's true. That's true. Yeah. So NATO is a proxy. It's a, it's a proxy war. Where we're not using any of our own troops, but we are sending. But Russia started it. So. But we're sending all the bullets. That's that the I mean, war. Russia was like, hey, we're going to take this country over. And then NATO was like, no, nah, you're going to fight a war with us for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that has to do with UAP placement as well. Oh, um, yeah. I, is there one in Kiev? I don't know, man. I don't know anything. Is that why they're holding down Kiev still? I, I don't know the answer. Crimea? I just, I just have speculations. What the hell? You don't know the answer? You're just thinking about it? I just think I just think that it has something to do with it. It is an educated guess. But, Jonas, look. We got super cute pictures of <laughs> this, Jonas. Where are you gonna get? Where are you gonna get something like that? Uh, get, and I'm showing the one where Kim Jong Un is driving. Yeah, you don't get this on your. He's like, he's like places. pointing. Putin's pointing. Like, hey, where's the closest Whataburger? Exactly. Everybody, everybody's seen this one. And honestly, how could you? Kim Jong looks happy. Oh no, hold on, don't. Oh my God, he's happy. He loves him some Putin. Come I on. saw the one that there was a picture on Reddit. How where can you think about war when you? It see was that? through the front of the car like through the de- through the through the front windshield like from yeah. the front view and like kim jong-un had this like myron look on his face when he, he was myron he was myron putin dude <laughs> get yourself a girl that looks like <laughs> you putin, like kim, like kim jong-un Jong looks does. like putin yeah, yeah, yeah exactly that's funny he was myron so like that was the memeable one like because it was funny. like it was like they look like it was like a buddy comedy like thelma and louise yeah like but it was putin and un you know, <laughs> that's 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 pretty good. It is scary, though, Jonas. It is scary that uh, to think is that 
now if we continue as a country or as as nato continues to fund this war is that there's a chance for north korean interference oh yeah well i mean all we waiting for is for russia to fire a stray bullet into poland or something so we can just bring our troops in there is that is that really what it is i mean they just waiting for they're waiting oh. for the shoe to drop yeah and then uh Another little tidbit from North Korea. Did you see that they're flying poop balloons into South Korea and crashing them? That, yeah, that was a couple weeks uh, ago. Yeah, it's I still happening. It's, it's, they're still doing it. Yeah, they're still it. dropping poop. And North Korea sent troops in the demilitarized zone, and like South Korea tr- was shooting at them because oh, they were no. inside there. And I think some people, they, got, they blew themselves up or something. I don't know. Something oh, weird. Oh, no. All right. Well, look, I'm going to one-up your, your Korean news with, with Russian news. Did you know there's a Russian Twitch streamer that was sentenced to five years in prison for criticizing the Russian invasion on Ukraine? I'm not surprised by that. And so apparently a Twitch streamer, Yoko Bovich, she got uh, arrested in t- 2023 after streaming uh, witness accounts of Russian massacres in Abushka. Jesus. Which... Uh, yeah, it, How would you like to live somewhere where if we were doing our podcast and said, like, hey, the president's doing a bad job, that we they would, like, come to our house and take us to jail for five years? That, that's the thing, Jonas, is that that's why America's one of the greatest countries to ever live. Because you, mean you talk can, shit and get away with it? Yeah, because talking shit ain't a crime. You can talk all the shit you want. Doing something, that's a crime. Yeah, I know a lot of people who talk shit and then don't do shit. And honestly, talking shit... It will put you on a list, in which case that... Maybe then they're they, waiting to find you for the crime. And look, at least America lies to you. Am, am, am I going to sit up here and think that there's not somebody like spitting off something crazy on the internet and then the FBI come and knock on the door and take them in for questioning? And then they're like, look, this is a crime. And then they're like, wait, I don't want to go to jail. Oh, yeah, and their people- family just, just like, oh, he did a crime. There's they, people talking like they online. They'll be on like Twitter and stuff, just making threats. And then like the cops show up to their house, and they're like, "Oh, I'm I'm just a small man making big threats." Yeah, exactly. But if the FBI show up to your doorstep like the MIB and they say hey, you got to come with us, and then you go with them, and then you're just never heard from again, and then whenever your family asks, they're like, "Oh, we found kid stuff on his on his computer." Like, bruh, I'm sure that this happens. I oh, feel- they just say that they found kid stuff. Hey, but really, oh. you was talking ill sh- about like I don't know, maybe trying to like kill a public official or something like uh, that, or you were anti. Yeah, so I don't know if we're necessarily not guilty of the same thing, but at least America lies to us. We we don't talk about stuff that's important. <laughs> we just we illuminate just... on that one. Please, <laughs> we just please we, illuminate. We what talk, are we? What does that mean? We, we just talking shit about shit. Okay, we, what we ain't about out here holding, holding like anti-Israel rallies and shit. Like that's not important. What? That's not important. What is important? The Israel stuff. No, I said we ain't out here holding that. So, so they ain't coming to our door. We're talking about like oh, we as in me and you don't talk about anything important. So yeah, not gonna... that's what I mean. Okay, yeah, we're yeah, not we're, just, we're talking about like somebody got shot. Oh. Like we're talking about like McDonald's having value meals. We ain't talking about we ain't like strong opinion like out here talking about criticizing the government and shit. I would like to say is that I feel like we do talk about important topics. I think that we do bring an interesting perspective on things. We don't talk about anything dangerous. Yeah, I mean, we stray I'm away also... from politics. We stray away from our opinions about politicians. We stray away from those things that could potentially get those uh those elites to even look our direction. Yeah, I mean, and I'm except being... for Elon Musk, and I'm being facetious we talk about some important stuff but yeah we take we take an interesting take on it i think yeah 100%. yeah we're not we're not dangerous we're not out here being if like we were, you need to do this because this guy's xyz and da, da, da. we don't tell you what to do we and, just talk about and, not fast and honestly it's a certain to a certain extent it's kind of crazy how much like a person who does like uh get into some of these echo chambers are allowed to move freely so i don't i don't know i think that there's certain trigger words obviously if you're saying something about like the government that can get you put on a list but it's nowhere to the extent of giving a person five years for well yeah uh, there was like that rapper in iran that did something about anti-iran and he got sentenced to death oh damn did that really is that a real thing yeah i can't remember what exactly but he was like he just spoke out or made a rap song against like something in Iran, and they murdered him. Yeah, honestly, America's the best country in the world. Um, I'll say it every 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 day of my life. If you ask me, 
Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> pledge of allegiance every morning. <laughs> I ask Noah every time you're every morning you're walking in the door saying pledge of allegiance. I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, I love America. <laughs> hey, yo, speaking of which, man, Louisiana, are, are they put the uh, they made it a law to put the uh, Ten Commandments in their schools. Oh yeah, so I mean, yeah. You squeeze that in at the end. We got we're about done with the episode. Yeah, so. maybe we'll talk about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about, so I need to ask you more we questions. We might talk so. about it more. We might. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe, go to crazytown.com for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.